Hey guys, my name is Bablun and welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at the beautiful and powerful Tier 10 Minotaur. This is a British light cruiser that is equipped with a lot of armaments, is very maneuverable and is almost like a DD. It also has smokes and today we are commanding it with David Beatty. Minotaur is equipped with 5x2 152mm cannons and they reload in a very very quick succession. 3.3 seconds to be precise with reload mod which is what I run on my Minotaur. Minotaur is equipped with 530mm torpedoes 4x4 so 8 on each side. These can be fired in single file and they go over 8 kilometers, which is very very powerful and these can be used offensively and defensively. Minotaur is a fun ship and when you have David BT as we do it could becomes even greater with Mistweaver plus, Demolition Expert plus and better healing plus you get the sixth sense. I am running reload mod, legendary mod and detection and you can see we get better maneuverability for steering gear and power system survivability. I went with cruiser modernization because I like having a little bit of everything instead of having only turret traverse. Minotaur already has very good turret traverse, so you don't need that in my opinion. Now, let's get into the fighting. Today we are playing on Cage and we are playing Center Control. This is not a bad map and a bad game mode for a Minotaur. Because you have your smoke and you have three of them. There's smoke two and in our case we have Mistweaver Plus. So it's all about utilizing these smokes to get the cap and do damage, provide spotting, and maybe some AA support if needed. There is CVs in this game, so we are going to be hit by planes probably. Minotaur has decent AA. It is not the best out there. It could do with another level up in the defensive fire skill, but it has defensive fire one. It gets one sonar, and I have not opted in to get another one. So... We have to use this sonar with caution and, you know, when we really, really need it. The first target up is a Baltimore bot. Not the hardest target, but they are actually very, very dangerous if you leave them alone, especially where he is at right now. He can spot us and he can shoot our broadside if we decide to sit and farm the enemy team. So I'm actually going to dispose of him very, very quickly. It is the only bot in the game, so we want to get him off the map. The enemy team decides to get our Des Moines bot, so we want to even the playing field and get this guy taken out. Luckily, Minotaur has very, very good pen, and especially when you have APCS or APCS Plus, you will have no trouble penning cruisers, destroyers, and battleships alike. The good Minotaur captain is awarded with a lot of damage if he is precise and accurate. If you can hit the enemy BB's bow, stern, you will do massive damage over time. This buffalo here is going to find out very quickly why you don't show even the remotest amount of broadside to a Minotaur at 9 kilometers. The pen is consistent and it is damage all the time. At the moment we were the only person in the cap and I decided we need to get out of here. You are not very tanky with Minotaur and this thing blows up like a piñata. It is one of the well-known ships at, at tier 10 for getting citadel strikes and close to one shots on this thing. It is not a tanky ship so you have to keep that in mind while you are playing this. This thing feels like a destroyer and as you can see we are easily maneuvering in between these BB shells, changing our course con constantly making it very difficult for the enemy team to actually hit us. And that is a thing you have to do with Minotaur. If you cannot master firing and moving at the same time you will be shot down easily. Everybody has seen a Minotaur go f flat broadside and just shoot his guns without the a care in the world. This lion gets annihilated by a Grozovoy and we are now clear to push into the cap again. It is very vital that we get this cap because the enemy team is actually ahead with even a kill and the caps. I spot a Shimakaze trying to flank around and possibly get our CV or the BB who is guarding him. But I don't want to take no chances so every time I see a destroyer in this ship I go for them. Minotaur is very very efficient at killing DDs. 
you do about 550 damage per hit depending on the destroyer but it's very very good and these shellocks are fast and they're not the highest either i find it very very easy to hit dds with a minotaur just watch where i aim and look how fast these shells are there the minotaur has a special drop pattern it's not a an ellipse or a circle it's actually in squares and that makes it much more precise at longer ranges as you can see when you shoot these salvos they tend to clump up more and not spread out as often because it's not as a, as wide the you know dispersion circle is not there it's a square so now we're going to be changing over to the Savitsky Soyuz and that is why you are able to f efficiently farm somebody's bow because you have this great dispersion when you are firing on a BB you need to be angled somewhat I am trying to angle to the Shimakaze behind me because I am not sure what he wants to do and at the same time I want to get all my guns on this Sovetsky because he's not looking at me. The Shimakaze decides to pull up and if you are a DD player with some experience you know you never pull up next to a Minotaur because even though we didn't get the kill we definitely would have gotten so if nobody else has shot at him. This thing shreds DDs. Minotaur, as everybody probably knows, only has AP, and missing HE can be quite cumbersome sometimes, especially when you're new to the line, but those of you who played the Minotaur line, you get used to it around tier 8. I actually really enjoy the fact that you don't have HE on the ship. It awards precision, it awards marksmanship, and it awards patience. Those are some of the greatest virtues you need to have when playing this ship. Patience is especially important because you need to know when to strike and when you cannot strike. Currently we are deep in the cap, in our smoke, and this Worcester could have probably raided on us if he had it. I'm not quite sure of the range, but a Worcester is a very, very, very dangerous target for Minotaur. And Worcester can load AP and actually get consistent citadels on a Minotaur. Minotaur can also hurt Worcester quite badly, but Minotaur... The Minotaur is quite reliant on consistent damage and torpedoes in some cases. You can use them offensively, like I said, and go for rushes, but against a Wooster that has radar and sonar, you're not going to do well against that. We are currently pushing because we actually have quite a good amount of HP, and this Essex for some reason is pushing in. He was trying to get the cap, I think. But with these single file British torpedoes, yeah, he does not stand a chance and our damage is going to rack up to a very, very nice number in just a few seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and goodbye to the Essex. We are currently on a perma flood, which is not good and it is going to be the end for the Minotaur. David Beattie's struggle is over, but we won the game and we got 133,000 damage. Considering we actually only got seven torpedoes we almost did 100k just with our guns and that can be difficult in minotaur especially when you are facing a lot of bbs now our matchmaking was quite good to us we we also did farm that baltimore but it was still a very very fun game nonetheless so the game is about to end and we ended up with well quite a good score so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to be trying out this new format with my gameplay commentary videos with, you know, a little more cinematic intros, a little more music, making it kind of epic to say. So if you enjoyed, tell me in the comments. Um, yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts. And here's the scoreboard and the player details. My team was quite interesting, at least, um, but we definitely got the carry in this one. And that's something you can do in Minotaur. This was also the game where I actually finished my battle honors after some 250k battles. So there we go. Very, very nice. And that was a great game to end it on. For those of you who want to know my stats in Minotaur here for the end, after completing all the battle honors, it is, well, and now I'm at almost 250 battles, but at that time, 195 battles, 67% win rate. And we got, you know, 73,000 average damage, which is pretty good, actually, I would say. Now there's nothing left to say other than thank you guys so much for watching. My name has been Bublu, and I am signing out.